Hey guys, Fist25 here. Um, so this will be the second time I'm making this video, actually. The last time I actually rendered one out, and it ended up being about a half hour long. It was kind of a very salty rant on what's going on in Star Citizen right now. It is February 2nd, uh, 2022. By the time this goes live, it'll be February 3rd. Um, anyway, there was a update to the roadmap and, and you guys know, I don't do news and I'm going to make an exception this time because I'm pretty salty about this. I'm pretty unhappy about what's going on with Mr. Citizen and especially the, the roadmap. Um, so in this roadmap roundup, we have the CIG community team, uh, basically say, and I read this whole thing earlier and it's, it's actually very long. I, I would recommend you go on to robertspaceindustries.com, check it out, read it for yourself. And let me, let me know what you think in the comments, but basically they want to limit the release view on the roadmap for the game. Um, they have realized that it's, it's constantly wildly out of date and the way they had it set up prior was it looked like they were making promises of things that are going to be in patches, even though they were marked tentative. Um, and the community was getting upset because they keep not being able to make deadlines. CIG can't make a deadline to save their life. They move stuff around and, and granted, that's kind of what happens with R and D and software development and stuff. And, and I understand that, but at the same time, I think we lose a lot of transparency as backers because the progress tracker itself is kind of jumbled up. You really have to spend some time on it to understand it. There's like 450 different things going on in the progress tracker. And while it is filterable and searchable and all that stuff, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to navigate. Um, and we'll, we'll get into that in just a sec. I'm going to try to keep this video under 10 minutes, but they basically said that they are no longer going to have the release view go past the next patch or the, the next upcoming patch so that they can put more committed things in there. Things they feel like they're actually going to make in the next quarter. Um, which, you know, it comes to the point with me where it's like, Hey, you've had 317 up there for six months so longer than that. And you know, you're not going to have a lot of this stuff in there. And of course they're not going to deliver on many things in 317. They have gutted a lot of it. And what they did was they just removed the cards altogether. They didn't move them out to another pack. They, they, they actually took them off. They're not on the progress tracker. They're not on the release view. We don't know what's going on with these cards. And considering there's so many deliverables on the progress tracker, it's like, well, these are supposed to be kind of close to done, right? Where are they? If we see them six months out now on the progress tracker in, in a month from now, going to be more unhappy. But... You know, CIG is going to develop software the way CIG develops software. Um, I think their methods are fairly inefficient. They are slow. Um, I've been part of a lot of alphas in the past. Um, I work in the defense industry in software development. So I know a little bit about it, but they are exceedingly slow. And I think one of the reasons that it appears that they're exceedingly slow, because they could be quick not quick, but they could be on average uh, is that we actually do lack transparency. They, they don't necessarily tell us really what is going on. They do have a schedule up there. They have progress tracker, but it's kind of like a very high level look at what's going on and it lacks tangibility. If that's a word, it's, it's, it's hard to link things. And we'll see that towards the second half here after I do the summary. Basically, in the release view, in in 317, these cards were, were taken out. Um, well, not all of these are 317, but these cards that were in the 317-318 pipeline to come out in the 
Q1, Q2 of 2022 are now gone. Player, player interaction experience, FPS radar and scanning, hacking, that's pretty huge. FPS radar scanning is really huge. EVA tier two, EVA has been broken for nine plus months. I mean, when's it ever going to get fixed? And zero G push and pull, which has been on and off the roadmap like 30 different times. Um, it's kind of like salvage, right? It's supposed to come out in 3.2. A few key deliverables um, that are missing core tech that have also been pulled. And my biggest disappointment, I guess, in 3.17 is we're no longer going to have persistent hangers or the hanger manager app. Um, that really sucks. Um, I was looking forward to that the most, I think was persistent hangers and I could care less whether we're using an ASOP terminal, but I, I, I do want, what it tells me is that we're, the game is not ready for persistence. We were supposed to have persistence in 317. It's part of the server mesh pipeline to have static server meshing in by citizen con or at least by Q4. It looks like that as always is going to get delayed um, because we're not going to be able to have persistence. Uh, if they even hold true to their patch timeline at the end of Q1, um, early Q2. So late March, early April, they've also unfortunately pulled the release timing of the whole C uh, the NPC taxi missions, tier zero and pirate swarm, vandal swarm improvements. I could really care less about arena commander at this point. Um, NPC taxi missions. I was really looking forward to that because it had, it, it's, it gets us on the pipeline for uh, NPC pathing and, and missions that affect NPCs. And I was really looking forward to that. Uh, Miss Cole C thanks for releasing that. So everybody could buy them. I bought one yesterday and Oh, now it's off. We don't even know when it's going to come out. The problem with what I see with the whole C is that that requires the cargo refactor it's supposed to be 318 timeframe. Is that going to get delayed now? Cause it sounds like it, it sounds like cargo refactors. They already know it's not going to happen. So lots, this a lot more questions and answers in this roadmap roundup. Um, what are we going to get? That's new in 317, a coffee shop vendor with a few new usables like the coffee dispenser. Okay. This is bartender tech. It's already in game. It's just changing a little bit. So we've spent what the past three to six months working on a coffee shop and there's only one coffee shop and it's at our corp. So you have to go to our corp. You have to go to the one coffee shop that works. I can really care less about having a coffee shop vendor. I would much rather have NPC taxi missions, cargo refactor, hacking, FPS radar and scanning, persistence, persistent hangers, any of that stuff. I would take over a coffee shop vendor. Okay, now let's go get to the good part about this roadmap roundup. Things that they have added to the progress tracker, not to the release view. The Argo SRV, the tow truck of the verse. Uh, Jaw will be happy with that because he has an SRV and he loves it. And that kind of tells me that tractor beam technology and, and is coming along because the SRV needs tractor technology or tractor beam technology. The Grey Cat Industrial Sidness Mining Droid. Okay, so droids, that's pretty cool. Let's see if that leads to drones. I don't know. It sounds like it. We'll see. The hospital surgeon could care less about a surgeon at a hospital. I, I think that shouldn't necessarily not be priority. The military multi-tool. What is different about the military multi-tool? Give us more information about it. I mean, it's what makes it military. What makes it different from the civilian version? AI arcade machines and, and AI usable systems. So the arcade machine kind of really pisses me off because I could care less if the NPCs use the arcade machine. I know it's an AI tech and I know it's probably some kind of proof of concept. Again, I'd like to use the arcade machine in the game, but okay. It's, I don't know. I don't know why this necessarily is priority. It would be nice to know that that's lacking transparency. The AI usable system V2. So this is optimizing memory usage and improving performance uh, while querying usable data at runtime. That's a good thing. Optimizing the game is a good thing. Modular shaders support for modularity. That is an awesome thing. 
server streaming, better uh, server side object container streaming socks, uh, the network code, uh, everything off the replication layer, the entity graph for persistent storage. That's a really good thing. Um, better server streaming of things. And then the way it ties to, to the entity graph will allow for more persistence later. But it sounds like that's probably what is delaying a lot of the persistence. DGS crash recovery. This is basically 30K proofing everything. Um, uh, basically, if a server crashes, it, it'll automatically spin up another game server and then transfer the data to the new server via the entity graph. Uh, I'm sorry, via the replication layer. That That is something that we definitely want, right? Get rid of 30Ks altogether. Um, Long-term persistence. Uh, talking about new inventory and shard database. So that <laughs> what that screams to me is a wipe because it's a new inventory. Um, it's all about entity graph stuff. And this is good. No, I'm not mad. This is good core tech. This, this is stuff that needs to come in. Um, wheeled ve vehicle physics improvements. Again, I hope this goes to Theater's War because I don't see why this would be priority. Reputation V2. Uh, upgrades to the reputation system. Get rid of crime stats, please. Let's go to reputation-based everything. That would be really good. Um, and look IK, look IK architecture refactor. I have no idea what look IK is. Um, it's a system to remap I trajectory and use I expressions. So I'm not exactly sure what that is. More information, please. Transparency on this. And then the best thing about the deliverable that was previously removed now back is Bounty Hunter V2. Um, and then uh, Persistent Habs, they also, at the very end, they said, hey, we yanked out Persistent Habs too because they need persistent streaming. So not good, not good, but some good, mostly bad. I, I knew 317 was going to get gutted. Let's actually go over to the progress tracker. Let's look at 317. Uh, okay, I went straight to the release view. You know why? Because it's the easiest way to see what should be coming up soon. So uh, we look at 317. We're going to get the Scorpius and the whole A. Uh, mining gadgets, ship to ship refueling, and selling. Selling is huge. Um, a coffee shop vendor. God, what a waste. Uh, we'll get the hospital at Lorville and DNA tent ha head textures, uh, although... I don't think we're going to get hair, which is really, I think what people really want is the hair. 318. I see cargo system refactor. I, I see that going away. I think salvage will stay because the Drake vulture is timelined uh, for that. But I just, I don't see, maybe they push real hard and they get cargo system refactor working, but the Drake vulture and the gray cat uh, salvage tool, multi-tool. So if we go to progress tracker real quick here, you can see under teams, there's like, there's so many teams. There's like 50 different teams, right? And I'm not sure exactly what each team does. It would be nice to have a, a, a tool tip. Obviously audio makes sense. Um, EU sandbox one. Um, there's some of this stuff. It makes sense. Some of it just doesn't. And it's like, can you tell me a little bit more about what you do? The narrative team, or how about the, uh, what's the team? The props team. Props could be a lot of things. There's 29 different deliverables under props team. Okay, I see out of station, the hawker, legal goods dealer, the janitor, things like that. When I go out to the yearly view, um, there's a whole lot of nothing up there. <laughs> like, not a whole lot. Like, a lot of stuff that is already done. Um, it says the cargo refactor should be done in February. So we'll click on that on the cargo refactor. Then I'm not necessarily sure why it would wait till June, July. So again, more transparency in that would help. Um, if I go to deliverables, there's like 450 different deliverables here. There's so much, even if I just filter it out for whoops, for uh, star citizen, and apply those changes over here. I mean, there's still just hundreds of these things. I don't necessarily as a backer want to go through all of this just to figure out that we should have got the industrial cutter tool a long time ago, right? Or we should be seeing like Gen 12 renderer tier one, right? Let's look at that work 
will complete in March, it says. But there's like, there's four different teams working on four different tasks. So when can we actually expect to, and a lot of these are part-time, when can we actually expect to see it? That's, I guess, what I'm missing here. I see a lot of things that are tied into other things. And there's like when I hover over a line, I don't, I don't see enough. I guess I don't see enough information. Although there's a lot there. It just, it doesn't tell me, Hey, we should have control renderer. Probably we're slating it to come in Q3, maybe a percentage. Hey, tell me how far you are with this. Like if general renderer is supposed to finish in early March, and now that we're in early February, are you 90% done? Are you 80% done? Are you 75% done? Did you have a setback and you need to change that? I don't know. Um, it's This is what I'm meaning. It's, it's a little complicated to get into. And it's just a lot easier to go to the release view. Go down to characters, locations, whatever, and, and see that Okay, this is what we're we're close enough at this tech. We're we're looking to have it in there. I get that you don't want to make promises you can't deliver on, and I think for the most part people understand, but people are going to be disappointed kind of no matter what. I mean, if you if you say something's coming, even if you say it on the progress tracker and you're not able to deliver, people are still going to be upset about that. So, the problem really isn't being solved here until we actually have more information, more transparency. So I don't know. I just felt like I had to say something. I don't plan on doing any type of news anytime soon, but uh, just really got bummed out with this today. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we get at least what's in 317 release for you. And uh, I guess we, we can, we'll see what happens. We still got a long way to go before end of March, early April. So with that, I will leave you. Thanks for watching. Um, please, uh, if you have any comments, put them in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. If you know something I don't know or I made a mistake here, I'd love to hear about it. And uh, until we see each other again, I'll do a Java sign off. Happy mining. See you guys.